Don't you hate it when you can't find something? I've been walking around this garage for 10 minutes. I know I got wire nuts in here somewhere. <laughs> I can't find them anywhere. I have no idea. Oh well. I'll find them after I'm done showing you guys what I'm showing you. Now my, uh, my rear window was broken. Has been since I got this. Well, it's somewhat decent out today. It's about 50, so I figured I'd look around in here and see if I could figure out what was wrong. Well, I found out what it is. It's this micro switch. Now, I can... Maybe I could replace it, but it doesn't have any screws holding it on. It's riveted to the rear door handle, so I'm thinking I might have to replace the whole assembly. And I don't really want to do that, but I might have to. Um, anyway, what I did was I unplugged this originally, and I found that one side was hot and one side wasn't. Well, both sides should be hot because unless the door is locked, unless it's in that position and the switch is closed, there should be power flowing through it. Um, so I know the switch is bad. So I bypassed the switch and now I can open the rear window. Problem is, is that when I lock the Jeep now, which the Jeep is locked right now, and you just seen it still works so the whole Jeep is locked but you can still open that window so I'm not really sure what to do about that I guess I could replace that whole assembly or a cheaper way I could probably do it would be I could put in a uh, a keyed switch on the back of the hatch that you'd have to turn the power on to it for that to be enabled I might go that route yeah that might work I don't know anyway um, so if your back window doesn't open that might be what's wrong with it <laughs> 